Hello, spooky season peeps. So we're on week three and um, I don't have very much time because I'm doing pumpkin carving today with a couple of my friends and their son and my boyfriend. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do week three, days 15 through 21 because that's all I have done at the moment. And um, if anybody else is following through with spooky season and I hope you're having a great time, I hope you're enjoying my book. Um, let's get going. Okay, so as you recall, last time we went up the, we went, we found the phone booth. It had the kind of Narnia door that opened into another world if you wanted to go find a phone. Um, so then the next prompt was, turning around, you notice you haven't seen any attendees in the park. It's only park employees. You hear the sound of children laugh laughing. You look around to see the silhouette of children by a ride. You walk closer and you realize it wasn't children. What was actually there? So mine was going to be gnomes. <laughs> and there's a bunch of Halloween gnomes. And if you notice, they're like uh, performing some kind of a ritual or a spell. They have like a cauldron and bubbles and spiders and bats and all kinds of Halloween-y stuff. And let's continue with my story. I turn away suddenly, realizing I haven't seen any other patrons at this park. I'm now hearing children laughing. I look around and see the silhouette of children in the distance. I walk over in that direction. They're small and they're laughing, but they're not children. Oddly, they're small and have long, bushy beards. I think they're gnomes, and I realize, and they realize I'm watching them, and suddenly they go quiet. I see a bubbling cauldron. Are they performing a spell? So that is my day 15 and the gnomes performing a spell. Okay, day 16 says, unnerved you stumble away and bump into another park employee. It turns out he's the mechanic for the rides. You asked if he can help with your car trouble. Pausing for a moment, he looks at you, smiles and walks away. As he walks, he drops a tool. What tool did he drop? So here's my park employee. Here's another one of those creepy potholes with a monster poking out of it. And he dropped a screwdriver. Here's my tag. And it says, spell casting gnomes in the park. What next? I'm kind of unnerved by this turn of events only because of how quiet and unfriendly they got when they saw me watching. I can only assume it wasn't a friendly spell. I stumble back a bit at the thought, bumping into another park employee. He's a dude who fixes the rides. On the spot, I ask him if he can help fix my car. He just looks at me for a moment and smiles and walks away. He drops a tool when he leaves. It looks like a screwdriver. So that is, oops, my little spider came off. That is day 16. And we'll go to, look, look at this clip, black cat. Very cool, huh? Day 17. Feeling hopeless, you pocket the tool. Maybe you can fix the car yourself and get out of here. You try to run back to your car and oh no, you've made a wrong turn. Everything looks the same. You turned into a fun house of mirrors. What does the mirror room look like? So here's the mirrors. It says we're not alone here. And here is my tag. It says ghost and ghouls. And my tag says, so I pick up the screwdriver feeling a little hopeless. Maybe I can fix the car myself and go and get me in the cat's home safe. Trying to find my way back to the entrance and my car, I make a wrong turn. Suddenly, everything looks the same, reflected back at me, and I must be in the Hall of Mirrors. Every mirror has a different world, a different Narnia, so to say. Here we go again. The house on the hill. A witch's house. What next? So, I kind of was taking the idea from... Nightmare Before Christmas, so I used the little man from Nightmare, the mare from Nightmare Before Christmas. And if you look, every one of the mirrors has like a different world, a witch with her familiar, spooky guy, um, the haunted house on the hill. So yeah, that's what I see no matter what direction I look in. And again, um, here's a little envelope that I'm using to hold in my tag and this came from Priscilla's kit this year for Halloween and so did, and the words came from Priscilla's shop as well. 
So let me put my clip back on and go to the next page. So the next page is day 18, I believe. And it says, surrounded by mirrors, you're at a loss. You, frantic, you are frantic to get out of here and you look up and also notice there's a reflection in the mirror. Out of your wit to use the mechanics tool to shatter the mirror to find the true exit point. What reflection did you see in the mirror? So here is the mirror and it's being sh shattered and I see this lady in a purple gown with bright orange hair and she's holding a book. Um, as we'll find out you know, at the epilogue of my last story, this was my great aunt Winifred who left me the house and who um, apparently has something to do with this amusement park. And then the back of the tag I just covered with some washi stickers that I had. Okay, and that fits in here. And this says, I'm surrounded by mirrors. How in the heck am I gonna get out of here? It's kind of weird that there are so many other worlds reflected in the mirrors. I really need to get out of here and back to the cats. Out of my mind, I just take the screwdriver and start busting mirrors. Finally, the true exit. But what's that? Reflected in the broken mirror? Or is that behind the mirror? A lady with crazy orange hair, a purple dress, and holding a book? Wild, but she kind of looks familiar. See, all that's missing is a black cat or two. Okay, so then the next page. Oh, my friend Thespa made me this and she also made me this tag. We did a swap in one of our um, Facebook groups, the Uncommon Guild, and she and I uh, were partnered up and it was um, kind of like spooky season ephemera and we made it in like a, a book form. So yeah, I'm starting to use her stuff this year, which is kind of cool. Anyway, so this is day 19. It says you f you're finally out of the mirror maze. You stop and catch your breath and regain your composure. You realize the stand you're leaning on is the lost and found. You notice the bin is filled with keys, car keys. One key stands out from the rest. You take it. So what does it look like? So here's my lost and found. And the box actually says keys to my haunted mansion. And it has all kinds of keys. Skull head, one with a house on it. Um, there's like all kinds of things in lost and found. There's like potion bottles and such. And here's the tag that Thespa made. I just put this key on it because the prompt was about keys and it fit nicely with the tag. And I say, finally I escape the mirror maze. I stop to catch my breath. I suddenly realize I'm at the lost and found. There's tons of stuff in here. Mostly prizes from the game stalls and weirdly jars of bugs, poison, jack-o'-lanterns, and potions. Also a huge box of keys. The box is labeled keys to my haunted mansion. That's wild, because some of them look like car keys. You find the key that stands out to you. The only non-spooky looking one? The key with an old house on it. And as I plan, and as it's my plan, the, the old looking key, door key, I just immediately grab that one because it's the only one that doesn't look spooky. So that is the lost and found. Of course, there's some black cats in the lost and found. And that is my day 19. And my tag is being held in by this clip that Vespa made me. Okay, this is day 20. Now, there's the tag. Um, with the key and tool in hand, you find the exit leading through a sea of park rides is dizzying. You stop to gain your bearings when you notice a pale hand gesturing for you to get on the roller coaster. Unsure. You can't resist. You take a chance and board the ride. What coaster is this? So here's the hand pointing to the sign. The sign says, which is familiar. And here is the roller coaster. And yeah, so here's my tag. And it says, so with my key and tool in hand, I head off through the park again. Just like at the house, I'm made aware of the pale hand gesturing for me to do something. I recall it didn't really work out okay before but it's pointing towards a roller coaster. I love roller coasters. I just can't resist. I decide to board and take a ride, only realizing too late it's called the Witch's Familiar. So that is day 20. And then day 21, this is my last day for this week. 
and it says, you are the only one on the on the ride. The coaster takes off slowly at first, and it isn't so bad. Creek clank about 45 seconds later, the ride is over. You deboard and stop to look at the ride photos. You find yours, and lo and behold, you weren't on the ride alone. What was on the ride with you? So here's the photo booth with all the pictures from the rides, and here's um, a cart from the roller coaster, and then I have this little pocket for my tag, which is part of Priscilla's kit, and then I just backed it with some washi and put one of the carts from the roller coaster on it. And here's my picture from the picture booth, from which is familiar. And there's me, and there's, lo and behold, a couple things on the ride with me. So I'd say, which is familiar? Like a black cat? Well, I guess any animal can really be a familiar. I seem to be the only one on the ride, at any rate. 45 seconds later and the ride's over. Fun and a bit scary. I get off the ride and go over to the booth that displays the ride photos. Wait, what? I wasn't alone on the ride? There's a giant rat in the cart seat behind me? And some kind of spooky black goat in the front? Question mark, question mark. So yeah, that's as far as I got. Um, I need to work on the last week. I probably will not get it done before Halloween, but I will post it just for continuity of my channel and the story. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this and I need to get going. So I'll see you again real soon. I hope you're having a spectacular spooky season. Take care of yourself. Be kind to everyone. I'll talk to you again soon. Love ya. Bye.